Hey y'all, Melissa here with you today, and today I have my dog with me. This is Mulligan. He is a standard poodle, and he is modeling today's project, this bow tie. I'm going to show you how to use a free pattern with bow tie sizes for many different size pets so that you can make one for your pet or as a gift. So check out the link below to get all the details for that pattern, and then you can join me back at the camera and I'll show you how to sew it up. After you've visited that link and you've gotten your pattern, go ahead and cut out the size that you want to use. I'm using the size large for my bow, and then you're going to cut your material. So I have the bow and I have two pieces of elastic. These are based on your collar size, so measure that. And I have the bow center, and then on the back of the bow piece we have fusible interfacing that I've already applied. So the first step is going to be to find the center of one of the short sides of the bow fabric. And so I'm just gonna pinch, finger press here to give myself a marking for the center front. And then on my size bow, I need to mark three quarters of an inch to either side of that center. So I'm gonna place a mark here and a mark here. And then what I need to do is on those marks, I am putting elastic. I'm gonna baste that in place. So I'm taking this over to the sewing machine. I'm basting with a one quarter inch seam. I'm not switching to a basting stitch because the quarter inch elastic I'm using is so narrow that that wouldn't be helpful. All right, once those elastics are sewn on, the next step is to fold your bow short sides together, and I'm gonna sew just to the inside of each of those pieces of elastic. I'm gonna leave the hole in the center for turning. And this time I'm using a 3 8 inch seam. The next step after sewing this seam is that I want to finger press the corners up here and then I'm going to open and I'm going to match this seam to that corner. I'm using glass head pins so I don't have to worry about the iron because I'm going to press this with the iron. You'll notice I am opening this seam allowance. Now I'm using cotton elastic. If your elastic is polyester or nylon, be very careful with pressing it. Um, you may want to skip pressing that area or use a pressing cloth so that you don't melt to the elastic. And then the next step is going to be to sew down these two short ends. Once again, I'm using a 3 8 inch seam. Now that I've got this sewn, I'm going to take out my pinking shears and I am going to cut the bulk out of the seams. And then the next step is to turn this right side out. So this is a tube turner. It's normally used for turning small strips of fabric tubes, but I'm going to just use the wooden part from the center to kind of turn this through this hole. Now the hole isn't really big enough for me to stick my fingers through, so what is easier to do kind of poke the corners through using my stick. You can also use a chopstick to do this. And just go slowly, I'm speeding up this video a lot. Alright, once you've got it mostly right side out, go ahead and take your turner or chopstick or whatever you're using and really poke those corners out. Okay, and then I'm going to press this again. So 
So my next step is going to be to accordion fold my bow tie. Now I want these elastic loops to end up on the outside. So I'm going to fold like this so that my folds are even. There we go. And those elastics are still sticking out. I'm going to do that on both ends. And once you have one side folded and you know how big the folds are, it's easier to fold the second side. Now I've used heavyweight interfacing on my bow, so you can see it's pretty thick where I folded. So I can't really sew a seam because my needle's not going to go through that many layers. What I can do instead is wrap some thread around the middle here to hold it while I get the center sewn. So I've got thread holding my bow in place, and let me work on the middle of the bow now. What I want to do is I'm going to fold it right sides together. I'm going to sew across one short end and one long end. And then I'm going to use a smaller tube turner to turn this one because the bigger one I had out wouldn't, won't fit. So here is my center. And let me poke that corner out. So then I need to wrap the center around my bow. And there's a couple methods in the pattern suggested to secure this. One is to sew across here with your sewing machine. Another is to use hot glue. I am actually going to hand sew this. I think that is going to be the easiest way to get this on in the middle. And um, I don't want to use glue because I feel like my dog is rough and that will fall apart. So I'm going to hand stitch these two ends together. Okay, I've got my needle. I've threaded it and tied a knot in the ends of the thread. I've just taken the two ends, looped them around my finger and knotted it that way. And then I'm going to take my bow, my bow center here, and I am just going to whip stitch the two ends together. And to do a whip stitch, you just make a loop of the thread. You're continually pushing the needle from the same side. You can see how the thread loops over those ends. And the advantage to this is it finishes those raw edges on the one end at the same time because it's enclosing them. And to make sure this seam is nice and strong, I'm going to sew down this way and then I'm going to go back up the other way. And then to knot my final stitch, I'm going to keep a loop that is not all the way closed. I'm going to wrap my thread around my needle three or four times and then pull very tightly and that will knot it. And then I can cut the thread off. And now I'm going to thread this on my dog's collar. Okay, hey, here's my bow, gone and stolen my dog's collar. So I'm going to push his collar through those elastic loops. All right, and as you can see, this is now nice and secure and it's not going to go anywhere while my dog is wearing it. I'm actually going to pull it all the way to this end so it will be near his tags. And then I'll go put this back on him. Okay, y'all, I've brought Mulligan back out, and let's go ahead and put his bow tie collar on. And there we go. He's a handsome boy now. And check out the link over here for more gifts that you can sew quickly for all the people in your life. Because he is yawning and
em